and welcome back to the farm and uh yeah welcome to a glorious new sunny day here uh and uh and we've got something rather special today so we're gonna jump in the truck and uh and we're gonna head down we're heading down to our uh, merchants today or our, our machinery merchants uh because uh you may remember last time that i uh, i had to go and sort something out at the house uh because of uh, something that somebody had mess mentioned in one of the comments uh, of, of one of our earlier videos. And it's come off. Uh, so we're going to go and pick up something today. We've got it on demo. Uh, I want to I wanna try this out on the farm. Something I've been considering for a while is our 850. Our uh, John Deere 850 is, uh, is beginning to... Well, it's, she's an old girl. And uh, and yeah, I don't I don't want to keep working even the little the small capacity it works around the farm. So uh, we're going to try something else out. We don't need another tractor. Uh, is the one thing uh, that I am very positive about. We have plenty of tractors. So as you can see in the distance, uh, we have this. So I'm just going to park here, and we're going to pop in and have a word with them. But first, this is what we're trying out. Uh, this is a New Holland L218. Uh, it's a little skid steer. Uh, and the beauty of this is that this will replace uh, most of the functions in the yard that the uh, 42, uh, yeah, the 4240 has. Oh, John Deere 4240. Uh, we've got a bucket on it. We've got a, uh, and we have a bale spike. Uh, and uh, and yeah, and eventually, if this works, then I will also get a uh, a manure uh, a manure uh, fork as well. But at the moment, we're just trying it out with these two bits. And this is basically to go around the yard to to do the work with the cows to get the cows fed and things. Uh, but should be a great little piece of kit for us. So uh, we're gonna get this back to the yard. I need to just pop into the shop quickly, and uh, and then we'll hook it up to the uh, hook it up to the truck. So, I've spoken to them in the shop, and uh, yeah, that's all cleared and sorted now. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to start up our truck. Well, we're going to jump back in our truck here. Uh, and we're going to back it up and hook the trailer on. Uh, and then we're clear to take it back to us. So, that is all good. And, uh, and yeah, I'm really, really quite pleased. This should work well. So it was a comment, it was a comment that was, uh, yeah, why don't, why don't you get a skid steer to do, uh, all the stuff you've got in the yard? Uh, we need to pull that forward a bit. There we go. Uh, why don't you get a skid steer to do everything in the yard? And I had a thought about it, and I thought, yeah, that actually, we can do that. That would work well. So attach our trailer on. And, uh, and yeah, let's get this back to the yard. And we're going to get this to work. So we're going to do some work with our cows today. And try this new piece of kit out. Uh, and hopefully, it's going to work quite well for us. So, we'll be careful. And, uh, and our truck here is easily able to pull this trailer. Uh, this trailer is also something we've bought, I should say. It's, uh, it should be quite a useful little flatbed trailer for us to have around the farm. Uh, certainly will allow us to transport this about if we need to uh, and uh, and maybe transport some other bits and pieces uh, so from that point of that uh, that point of view it's really useful uh, I'm considering getting a lorry actually uh, for our seed tether especially if we're going to be uh, going further away from the farm uh, or even just or even just a, a seed tender uh, is the other thing uh, seed overloader uh, as we uh, as we get further out, but I see you should be able to do that. Uh, but it's, it's one of those things where we're always looking at what we have on the farm and looking if uh, if there's any upgrades or anything needed. I have uh, recently heard of some nice stuff from Horsch uh, that we might trial from them uh, because some of our equipment is uh, is a few years old now. So it's always worth seeing uh, seeing if there's improvements to be made. Yeah, because we've got, we've got an old uh, Vadastad in there, so there might be a replacement uh, horse piece of kit uh, that I've heard about that, that would suit us better. Right, we're going to take this down this way, I think, and uh, oh yeah, we'll just pull up along the side here and unload it. 
and get the uh, get all the equipment off. So let's uh, stop this. And we're gonna run out the back. So I release these. Uh, these should come down then. Perfect. And uh, and yeah, let's jump in it and uh, get our stuff. So we'll attach on our fork. And there we go. And pull it off. Brilliant. So this is really manoeuvrable. This should allow us to do a lot of a lot of general work around the yard as well. Um, this is this is just going to be our little go-to piece of equipment, uh, definitely for for doing our cows. Right, we'll plop that down on the ground, uh, detach it. There we go. And then we need to go and get our bucket as well. So this is a uh, this is an overloader bucket or a. Uh, uh, base, basically, we can go higher with this bucket than um, than just a standard one. It's uh, it has an overload tip. There we go. Yeah. By overload, I call, of course I mean a high dump. Uh, so basically, what we can do with this is. We should be able to do a high dump with it. So uh, let me see if I can. Oh, I can't get it to work at the moment. There must be something I have to release or change on it. But it's at the moment, it's uh, yeah, it's not releasing. That's all right. We don't need the high dump function on it yet. Uh, and I'll work that out later. This is the thing with new bits of equipment. Never quite sure exactly how it all works. Uh, so we're going to get this out of the way. So we'll go and plonk this. Uh, the other side. I don't want to block that door, really. Uh, let's just let's just plonk this here. Uh, we probably we probably should go and put this on our um, on our shelving down the far end. And look at the maneuverability of this little piece of kit. Uh, now, what we should be able to do as a result, I'm going to go and get my uh, truck out of the way now. Is uh, is we should be able. To now do all of our animal feed uh, between this and our 4240. Because our 4240 now is not needed, obviously, for our telehandling or for our uh, loading functions. So, uh, oh, let's not scrape those on the ground. We'll load those back up. And we need to find, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put this uh, flatbed. Uh, we'll find somewhere for it. I think I might... Uh, no, I've already got something in that space there. I'm sure we can find somewhere to put it. Uh, for now, we'll just leave it down this end of the yard. Yeah. We'll park this all in front of the house and I'll put it away later. There we go. Right, let's head back over and jump in our 4240. There we go. Uh, right, so we're going to drop our front loader off the front of this. So we're going to put this on the, the thing and then we'll put this beside it. Uh, we don't need the front loader on for now. Uh, we might see if we can get some weights on the front. Uh, but certainly this, I don't think... Oh, before I do that, let's have a look. We might drop this weight off. I don't think our high hitch is above our PTO on this. So this should work with our uh, feed trailer, uh, which is what I really, really need it for uh, now. Because obviously, as we discussed before, the 7710, uh, that can't, we can't connect that up to our feed wagon, uh, which is a bit of a problem. Right, so there we go. And drop that off. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is we're just going to drop this off as well. So we'll drop this off just the other side of this pot plant over here. Not the easiest place to get to with our tractor. But it will do the trick. Right, and we need to pop out and unplug everything. There we go. Back it up. Uh, actually, I'm just going to put this weight by the house. Not the greatest place uh, 
Actually, no, I don't really like putting uh, stuff like that next to uh, next to the house. I like to try and keep the house clear of things like that. So we uh, we should really have uh, dropped this off in the shed. So I'm going to head back that way and do that. Uh, and then we'll hook this up to our feed wagon. And uh, and we'll see if we can get this whole setup to work. Uh, in fact, there, that's where I've been putting my weights. Just by the side of the building here. So drop it down. Don't mind crushing the weeds. Like that pull forwards and away we go. Let's go and hook up to our animal trailer. Oh, our feed trailer then. Uh, this should work really well. There we go. Up to the coon light. And as always, when we're hooking up a PTO. We want to turn off the tractor. To jump out and right, so connect it up. There we go. And um, we need to connect our PTO up as well. There we go. That's connected up. Let's start this back up. There we go. And uh, let's go and fill it up. Oh, let's go and empty it first. See if we can... Because uh, the whole thing about this is we want to get this trailer empty, really. Uh, so this does connect up to this fine uh, and will work for us, which is great news. Uh, so we can definitely use this in place of our uh, eight, uh, 850. Uh, it gives us another tractor on the farm, which is great. Or it frees up uh, another tractor for this kind of work. And means that we can come in here. And, uh, and we can give the cows some extra food. So let's give that a try. Oh, wow. So our cows actually are fully fed at the moment. So that's all good. Uh, so we'll try and... Um, uh, so yeah, actually that's a little bit disappointing for me. Because I would really, really love to have actually um, done more of that with this. But this is running nicely uh, and, uh, and should go well. So what we're going to do actually is we'll need some, uh, we'll need some straw for them. Because if they've got enough feed for a while, they may actually be uh, in a position where we can add some straw for them. So we'll get our straw blower out and we'll try filling that up with our skid steer and, uh, and trying that out. So uh, turn this off because we need to go and uh, disconnect this. There we go. And disconnect the trailer. Start her up again, and we'll connect her up to the other one. I don't know if this has any straw in it at the moment. It might do, and I have a feeling that we may have given our cow some straw before. Oh, always turn the tractor off. Always turn the tractor off. Right. Connect that up. Connect the power attach or the PTO. Oh, oh, before I go any further, let's just have a quick uh, jump on here. So nothing in there. Let's uh, let's take this round and get this filled up. Then, so we're going to put two uh, wheat bales in this and see if we can uh, see if we can get them into our cow shed. And, uh, and sort our cows out. So bring this round. And this does work quite well, actually, this setup. Uh, this should mean that we're, we're going really, really... Well, we're going great guns. Uh, we now have our... So we now got this as our yard tractor. Um, doing a lot of this kind of stuff. 
uh, and that then gives us our other two tractors and uh, and we can retire the 850. So uh, what I want to get now is a set of, or a uh, couple of wheat bales. So it should be a case at the end here. Yeah, we've got two. So we're going to load, we want to load this up two uh, wheat bales at a time. As I said before, the wheat bales are the ones that are better for uh, for bedding. And this is, the, this is the great thing. So we've now got this little thing. We cannot see where we're going with this. With two bales on the front. We know roughly where we're going. Uh, but I've got to be careful. Because too much height on this. With so much weight on the front. And we might end up toppling over. But I think we're pretty good. Now can we. Get this over the side. Yeah there we go. And in they go. So just about what we might need to do. Uh, all is not lost. I think this is still a great little piece of kit. But I think a loading ramp might be something that we uh, we could invest in quite nicely. Uh, to load that, up, that kind of stuff up. Uh, it, but that did work well. That worked really well. Uh, for the most part. It was a little bit of a, a, a janky loading situation. So... Let's take our 72, um, sorry, our 4240 here and, uh, and we'll go and give the cows a little bit of extra straw. Uh, we've got a good amount of manure coming in as well, of course. Uh, and we'll go and, uh, we'll go and clear up the, uh, the excess silage we've got in a minute. We can try our little skid steer for that as well. I'll turn it on and see if. We can, there we go, unload it. See if we can avoid hitting any of our cows. But that's great. So this will now give our cows a really good set of bedding. Uh, help us to produce a lot more manure as well, of course. Right, let's try again. Yeah, they're going to take both bales, which is brilliant. Uh, good to keep them filled up. Uh, the other thing, of course, we need to do, we might need to do, actually, is get, uh, see if they got some water. But I think their water is actually okay at the moment. Uh, but I'm happy with that. That is working out well. There we go. That is all of our straw gone. Uh, and, yeah, we need to come and clean up this, uh, clean up this mess that they've made uh, on their feeding trough. One up, reverse that up. It's a bit of a tight turn for this tractor. Yeah, we've got a, an interesting setup on our uh, on our drills. I have uh, I have been speaking to a few people about the possibility of trying trialing a new drill out. Uh, where we are in a position where we could probably do with that this year. Uh, we've certainly now we've got all of our um, all of our crops done. Uh, we can uh, look at something. We obviously an all-in-one solution would be great. Uh, so we're doing, uh, you know, we're doing wheat, we're doing barley, we're doing soybeans, and uh, we're doing corn on the farm. So a cedar that will cover all of those uh, would be good. Those are, that is a little bit difficult to combine. Uh, to combine to come by. Uh, I do know that that's uh, a fairly tall order. There we go, and detach. And we're going to take this, uh, take this back over the end, and we're going to go and get our little skid steer, and uh, and switch over to the bucket and give that a try, and see what effect that uh, that that has on it. I think. There we go. Tractor is all parked up. Uh, we'll drop the front off. We'll go and grab the bucket that we put over there. Uh, so we'll just drop this. Drop this here. Right, and back up. Bucket is over this way. And we'll put the bucket on the uh, on the rack with everything else. 
uh, while we're still down that end. So its reach isn't great. Uh, it's, uh, as I said, I think to make things easier, a ramp might be useful. Uh, we just need to work out where is going to be the least intrusive place in the yard that's also the most useful uh, for us to put it. Uh, but in general, I'm uh, I'm pleased with this. This is gonna this is a good little piece of kit for the yard, and uh, and will serve us well. Um, the other alternative, of course, is we still have the front loader on the other tractor, so we could just say right when we're uh, when we're doing the straw, we'll use the uh, we'll use the other one. Uh, we'll use the seven seven ten because that will connect up to the straw blower properly. Uh, it's a uh, it's a bit of an issue with the other one, but yeah, that's uh, that just the visibility on this is the great thing about it. That goes into our feeding trough. Uh, perfect. All right. Uh, so I'm happy with that. That is all good. Uh, oh yeah, we want to go and put this on the shelf. Uh, and that's uh, that's where we're going to finish up today. I think that is pretty good. I'm very, very happy uh, with how this has turned up, uh, how, how this has turned out and how this has worked. Uh, it's a great little piece of kit. Uh, it will go in perfectly here. It doesn't completely replace our other tractor, our 4240. Uh, it does mean that uh, enough of the what the 4240 does is... Uh, is freed up uh, to allow the uh, 850 to be retired. So uh, we're going to keep that. And part of the reason why I've actually got it in the other shed next to my car now is because uh, very much plan to keep that and uh, and have it as a show tractor. Uh, I think it'd be a great little tractor for that. And we will have there will be little bits around the yard. I just uh, I just want to retire it. Sort of a, a tractor that we use on a on a regular basis. Uh, I think we might get a little trailer for it or something like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is a fantastic little bit of kit. Uh, I'm really, really pleased with that. Uh, we'll, uh, we've got it on uh, demo for a little bit longer. But uh, if it pays off, uh, I think we might be buying it. So uh, with that, all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.